Hello everyone and welcome to a new reaction video. My name is Larissa and today I'm going to react to the new Vikings episode. It's already the 8th episode so it's coming close to the end. Last week was the most emotional shit I've ever seen. I don't believe I ever cried an entire episode but it was just emotional from beginning to the end and I just couldn't stop crying. Also of course because my favorite character had just died but the way that episode was made it was so beautifully made and everything and i already said it like a hundred times in my review last time but i just love how that episode was made and i just love how they said goodbye to her and i just really really loved it i'm excited what we're going to see this week because um yeah Lagrat has that now are they going to find out Fitzrook did it um how is Bjorn going to be now what's going to happen I also hope we're going to see more of Ivor and then I mean with his previous wife who suddenly married Olak and like what is their plan even so yeah I'm really excited to find that out I'm not sure if we're going to see that this episode but I hope we'll see it soon I mean if there's a plan maybe they're just trying to fuck with him I have no idea what they want uh, but it is weird and I also really wonder why she's still alive and what happened. Uh, but I guess we'll still find out. I also wanted to say one thing. I often get comments um, from people who say like um, you're missing a lot. Uh, you're missing dialogue and shit. But that's not your thing to worry about really. Because first of all I watch this with English subtitles. And I can read and talk at the same time. Because mostly when I, I, I say stuff in between an episode. Then it's something I just really want to say or think is important. People think I don't notice what they're saying in the meantime. But I do. Maybe I sometimes miss some tiny things but even if i miss them i edit this right after and then i notice them anyway so seriously don't worry about that guys because i get these comments quite often of people who think i i'm not paying attention or that i'm missing everything but i know really well what's going on so just don't worry about that then i'm going to watch this episode valhalla can wait okay let's go <laughs> I guess he knows. What? I killed your mother, Beard. Ah. I thought she was Ivor. I thought that she... I don't care what you thought. Being drunk is no excuse for anything. You murdered Mike Myla. You murdered the most famous human maiden in the world. You! You sad, pathetic... You were not fit to kiss her feet! And you are fit to be called a son of Ravina. Ravina. You killed my mother. You killed a part of me too. Seeing how much it does to Bjorn, it just makes me emotional. When I see screaming to him and he has like I'm tears so in his eyes, just the disbelief sorry. that his own bro no, brother no, no. did this. I killed the woman who murdered our mother. You said the gods would arrange our revenge. I mean, that's also true. You yourself, I was an instrument of the gods. It was my fate. It was me. Talk about the drug addict. Talk about my mother's village, what happened there. Talk about my son. Talk about our son. Oh, yeah. Your son wanted to play a part in the defense of his village. He wanted to prove himself as a warrior. He knew that his mother and his father would hear of his exploits. He put himself in danger. Yes. He had quite extraordinary courage. I totally didn't I think about that he also find out that Holly uh, died. These are our things to bear. <laughs> we will burn Vincent tomorrow. I 
don't like that Buren is having, having such a hard time at the moment and I, well, I totally get it, but damn. Every Viking from whichever country we came from all heard tell of the saga of Ragnar Lothbrok and his sons. All the great halls the Scandinavia poets sang of Ragnar. And of you, Bjorn Ironside. I am going to burn my brothers I wanted to feel an imaginable pain. But is that this what I feel? What does a man do? He fights. And he looks after his family. You have your father's eyes. When your time comes, you must live with your head, not with your heart. Do that. I want you to go. Oh, I miss this voice. It's bad. Uh. <laughs> That's it, my mind. I'm coming with you. I thought the emotional stuff was over for now. Look after your mother. Come. 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 Weird to see young Bjorn again. Is this really going to happen? Are they really going to burn him? Because no matter what he did, I don't want Fitzroy to die. This isn't going to happen, right? Someone's gonna stop this. really cruel. Less cruel than burning your brother alive, I think. The Hellfire has defeated me! I don't know. In the event, knowing what you know, do you want me to step down as your king? If you do, you can pledge your allegiance to King Harold. And save Kat to get from destruction. I am ashamed! Here's the son of Ragnar Lothbrok asking for your support! You know Björn! You know what he has achieved! I think the gods love Bjorn Ironside, as I do. You should acclaim him. What other kind of hero do you want? Here is Bjorn Ironside. He fights for you.
Why does he always have that puppet? So Oleg still doesn't know that he knows that he actually owns everything. T. T. What is that? A plant from Asia. Be ill advised to commit such huge forces into many unknown knowledge of those places. <laughs> you claim that there is a connection between us, which I cannot fully understand. What is he doing? What do you say, Prince Igor? Would you like to come with me on a meeting party? I must consult the king. He knows everything. Mm. What do you think? I think you should make the wrong decision. Why do you crazy? I am not crazy. I am the king here. I own everything. This table, this room, this palace. I own the whole country! I own the land in the sky! Don't do that anymore. You are not a king. You are my ward. I'm responsible for you, and without me, you are nothing. Less than nothing. Do you understand? Don't ever try to make fun of me, Kemmer. I'll cut out your tongue and feed your liver to my dogs. He's such an asshole. He's a good boy. He just needs to be controlled. You had a child once, didn't you, Ivor? Things are getting interesting here. Poor Igor. I really like that boy. Sweet child, do not weep. Aww. I am here now. I love how much he cares about Igor. It feels like he's ending up like Pitzer too. But I know Bjorn is way stronger than that, so. It is winter. Don't think that will ever happen. I wish I knew about Pitzer's condition. I ought to have known that he was dangerous, but. I have known all the warning signs. I knew nothing of like this battle with the bandits. I knew nothing of her return. What a poor ruler I was. Oh, was I was shitting at me, searching for glory. I left my wife. It is not fair to her. You're still sleeping with her? You know you want to be with me. You know you cannot escape my desire. Can someone burn her alive? Is she going to see them? I just needed to know. I the Bjorn? Bjorn is different. When I finally get him, that's when I am truly king of all Norway. You're not going anywhere. I might be so sure. I might just decide. Really? How are you gonna do that? I think Harold is truly annoying though at the moment. I mean, I get it from his side, like he wants to be king and Bjorn is kinda in his way because it's Bjorn. But Bjorn came there to save him. If he hadn't done that, who knows how it would have ended. And now he wants to kill Bjorn. I am not jealous. I was not born that way. But I see Bjorn that you are in love with Ingrid. So I think you should be released from servitude, Ingrid. And that you should marry Bjorn. Huh. We know many kings who have married more than one wife. I think your father even put that proposal to your mother. If you two are in agreement, then we will all live together. What? And our son will have the benefit of two mothers. Why do I have a feeling that she will still this. not agree to this because she just wants Bjorn for herself? But you should know Bjorn. Your mother was attacked by the outlaws you released from Kattegat. He you are a great it. man, but even great men make mistakes. He didn't know that? Yet? Ouch. For you a child. You should not be undertaking such a journey, especially in the winter. Don't believe she's your wife. Or your pet. 
Let me kiss my daughter. Goodbye, Elsa. You keep your mother safe, yes? That's my girl. <laughs> That's like the cutest kid I've ever Hello, seen. Dear. What a cutie. I also believe that that girl really enjoys playing in this show. She's just always so happy. All who came before us are dead. And we are the remainders. And now we are going separately on our own paths. And I'm sad. All I know is that we will see each other again. In Valhalla. In Odin's home. And we will be young again. We will be fierce and proud. We will laugh and sin. We will be what we were always meant to be. And so this is life. And so is this death. Farewell. Oh, are those the Russians? <laughs> Why does this remind me so much of Age of Empires, that game? But damn, they just slaughtered an entire village. And he's the only one left. Hey, back in Iceland! Oh, how I hated this storyline in the last season. See, he can't be trusted. And one day, they will return, not as a raiding party, but as an army. Let's see, this episode, it was quite interesting and there were some really exciting scenes. Like, I don't even know where to start right now. I'm trying to start at the beginning. Well, we saw Bjorn and Vitserk first. Just to see Bjorn like that, so emotional, like... I don't know if you've seen him like that before. I mean, he lost the kingship, he lost his son, and he lost his mother all at once. I mean, of course, at that moment, it just feels like you've lost everything, which kinda is the case. Then the thing with Vitserk, I couldn't really believe they were actually going to kill him, um, because he's still their brother, a son of Ragnar. And at the well, after last week's episode, I was just thinking like, or well, actually the week before that, I was thinking like, there were five sons, I mean Sigurd died pretty soon, but then there were four sons left and everyone is doing these great things, uh, raidings, battles, some do cruel things and then there's Fitzurk, who just literally doesn't hurt anyone, who is just being there, not constantly trying to achieve glory, not trying to kill anyone and he ends up killing Lagerta and that's just so like, yeah, I don't know. I was also really not sure what to think about it and I also saw that there were a lot of different opinions in the comments because lots of people were like, I really love how they did this, how this turned out, that it was eventually Vitserk, that it was a cool twist and um, because the son of Ragnar was always supposed to kill her and then it turned out to be Vitserk. But there were also a lot of people who were like, it's so stupid that the greatest shield maiden in the world dies by a junkie, just a drunk who's hallucinating and then just kills her accidentally. I, I was thinking about it both because at first I was like, oh, it's such a cool twist that eventually Vitzrick appears to be one the one that killed her because I never wanted it to be Ivor because it would be just too... Yeah, you could have really seen that coming. I didn't think it was gonna be Uber, so I think it was a nice twist, but just the way it happened, it was just... She was the most famous shield maid in the world. She. I, I always thought she would die in battle. I really thought that was something that her character kind of deserved. So yeah, I'm also kind of doubting, still doubting what to think about it. Anyway, I get Bjorn. It's he killed his mother, even though he was drunk. It's like he says, it's not an excuse. He just should have gotten better, and he should have at least tried. Instead of that, he just kept drinking and taking mushrooms, and then he accidentally kills Bjorn's mother, like. Yeah, on the other hand, like I already said during this episode, Lagertha killed their mother. And 
Also, a lot of people in the comments were like, okay, but she killed down mother. It's only fair, actually. And I also see why that is. Even though I totally hated Oslog, she was like my least favorite character. I hated her so much. But she was still their mother and they wanted revenge for that. And there was a time when they all wanted Loggerta dead. But she was also still the mother of their brother, Björn. Um, and then there was this whole war, Ivor versus Loggerta and everything. And, and they just wanted her dead. Eventually she didn't die, luckily, because I didn't want to lose her that soon. And then... In the end, Vitsruk does it. So it's like he said to Ube, it was meant to be. And of course, I get that Ube would, of course, think different about it than Bjorn. Because first of all, Lagerta wasn't his mother. Also, Lagerta killed his mother as well. Uh, yeah, I get that they have different opinions. But Bjorn had every right to kill Vitsruk. And what he did now, I don't know if it's more or less cruel. For Vitsruk, personally, it's more cruel. But to burn your own brother alive, then his dad is actually on your hands. If you put him outside, it's also on your hands, but you don't actually kill him or see him die, make him die. You make him die, but yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, it feels different. It just feels more... It just feels heavier when, when you burn your own brother alive. So yeah, that's that about Fitzirk. I wonder if we're going to see him again. I, I think so, and I'm... Yeah, I'm curious how his journey will continue then. Oh, then there's the thing with um, Gunhild and Ingrid. Oh, that's such a weird situation. I mean, uh, I, I kind of envy people who are not jealous. You could say I'm jealous of people who are not jealous because I'm jealous as fuck. But it's so unreal to just see her like, I'm not jealous. If you want to marry her, sure, marry her too. Like, what are you saying? <laughs> I mean, if you're fine with that, sure, why not, you know? But still, I think Ingrid is such a bitch. And I mean, maybe any other person would have worked. But I just really hate her. Just her face and how annoying she is. Yeah, I don't really like her. And I don't uh, understand how Gunhild can just accept that. Also, Bjorn found out that Lagertha was killed by the man he set free. That must have also been a shock. So he was blaming everyone. And well, he was also blaming himself already, he said, when, when she needed him, that he wasn't there. But I think he's starting to blame himself even more now. Because that also means that he caused his own son's death. Because... Well, that man killed his son. Uh, what else? Oh, of course, um, Ivor and Oleg and um, Igor. I just love Igor. I really love him. Like, he's so uh, pure and innocent, actually. And yet, he isn't or something. I just really love to watch his scenes because it's just really funny how he's like... Just the, the way he looks, just his face, just his... Kind of his acting, I think. I just... I'm kind of intrigued by that. And I don't really know in what way, but I just really like that actor, I think. Just the way he portrays this character uh, for such a young boy and uh, to make it such a special character. Because a lot of times you see when children act, well, he's not like a little child like, like Asa or Asa, how do you say that anymore? But a lot of times when you see children act, they all act in some kind of same way and they, they, they do it well, but they don't make a character really their own and he really does that and i really admire that and just to see him with that doll and last time when we saw him ice skating and all that crazy stuff i just really like that and to him actually be the king of everything and to know that yet to still kind of admire oleg but also wanting to like get what is his of course and i think that scene was so interesting when when oleg kind of snatched at him and to just hear him say those words like i'm the king of everything i own everything that was so powerful but i mean he's also just a boy so uh, it's really easy for oleg to yeah have more power and to just hit him in his face and make him run off crying but i really think that when he gets older i mean oleg is trying to control him now but when he gets older, he won't be able to do that as easy as he's doing now, I think. So I don't know what he exactly he's planning. It will take some time before he's like really full grown. But yeah, I'm not sure how he wants to solve that. And then of course the thing with Ivor's wife is still a mystery to me. Uh, but we're getting kind of more. They also asked about the, the child from Ivor. So I, I hope we're getting somewhere. And uh, I'm talking so long, but I think it was a really interesting episode. So... Um, yeah, just a lot to discuss. Is there anything else? Yeah, of course, the Iceland storyline. Um, I hope it 
if we're going to see that storyline, I hope it's going to be more interesting. I think we're going to, otherwise Ube and Torvi wouldn't be there. I just really hope they're going to look for Floki. And I'm not entirely sure what, what he's all lying about, that's that man. But yeah, we'll just see about that. I know he has something to do with Floki, because otherwise he wouldn't be so anxious about it. But he's really not happy with them being there, so yeah. Uh, for the rest, I think that was it. Yeah, I think I said everything. The only thing I wanted to point out one more time is that I really love Bjorn's emotions this episode. To see that he's also just a man with emotions and feelings. I mean, we've seen him having emotions before, but this was like... Just the way the first episode was done when he was screaming to Vitzerk and just the tears in his eyes. Yeah, that was really nice and I really loved... Uh, how he did that. I mean, as an actor, not, not as a character. Yeah, it was just nice and powerful, really powerful. Um, yeah, and then that was my reaction. So, did you like this? Then please leave a like, subscribe, and then I hope to see you next week. Bye!